Ode to Sam Woes. When I was 17 years old, my high school art teacher told me about a restaurant in San Francisco called Sam Woes. It was famous for the rudest waiter in the world. The name of this waiter was Edsel Fong. However, this story is not about him, but about this restaurant and two waiters in particular named Becky and Lee. My first visit to Sam Woes was an adventure. Built in a narrow space between two buildings, I entered the kitchen from Washington Street. We were instructed to go to the third floor. You could hear the sounds of laughter, dishes, and drinks from above. It was a happy ruckus on the second floor. We paused for a moment to see the walls bedecked with Polaroid photos of an older Chinese man posing with college students, girls mostly. We then heard the same man, Edsel Fong, yelling at some students that they should share their bag of fortune cookies with everyone there. There were protests and laughter as he snatched the bag, tore it open, and began passing the fortune cookies to everyone in the room. Just then, a woman yelled to us, Third floor! You go upstairs! The third floor was set up in the same manner without all of the photos decorating the walls. It, too, was filled with drunk and happy college students. However, the two servers were not the circus attraction. They were hustling to take orders, serving food, providing tea, and cleaning up after the guests. They pulled the dumbwaiter rope to lift the food and to lower the customer orders in hastily written Chinese on pink paper. Becky and Lee are their names. Little did I know at that moment that I would periodically see them over the next 26 years of our mutually intersecting lives. Lee taught me my first words in Chinese, explaining the difference between Mandarin and Cantonese. I always learned thank you first when learning a foreign language. Doje were my first words. Over the next few years, I learned a few greetings and how to ask for my food in Cantonese. Becky would also correct my pronunciation and help with the few words that I learned. Naturally, she laughed with Lee good-naturedly at my feeble attempts. Yes, I too was a drunk college student searching for a $2 plate of chow fun with beef and greens at 3 in the morning. Often, I would begin the night at Sam Woe's with some light food and beer I, I bought across the street. They were cool with bringing in your own drinks. Since they liked me, I would often receive spring rolls, which were not on the menu during that time. Others would cry out that they wanted spring rolls too. The swift reply was that they could not have them. When my parents visited me during Thanksgiving, I took them to Sam Woe's. I have also spent Christmas and other holidays as the only patron in a deserted restaurant. Not only did I spend solitary time there, but I enthusiastically introduced hundreds of students, clubbers, friends, tourists, and family to Sam Woe's. Such was my addiction to the place. After graduating, I had my meals there as a drunk clubber, having fun in the city as a young adult with a job. I continued eschewing the second floor in favor of Becky and Lee's frenetic hospitality and laughter in a room full of drunk people. As with all things, the liquor store across the street vanished. Edsel Fong died, the grease level in the food decreased, and prices increased. Now the menu includes spring rolls and excludes pot stickers. And so it goes. After about 10 years, I moved out of the country and was only able to return every few years for a bowl of wonton soup and chow fun. Since Becky and Lee never asked my name, I wondered if they would recognize me. Had they not already seen tens of thousands of drunk college kids? I made the mistake of greeting them by their names and asking if they remembered me. They assured me that they did. However, I would have said the same thing in their position. Why not say yes? I still wondered whether they actually remembered me. I did not repeat the same mistake a few years later. They did recognize me. Becky and Lee enthusiastically greeted me and cleared the single table by the stairs. Young college kids were looking at me trying to figure out why I was receiving special treatment. Becky grabbed a beer from a table and brought it to me for my meal. Lee did the same from another table after I finished the first one. Of course, no one protested because that would have gone against the spirit of the place. It just increased everyone's curiosity as to my identity. I was so happy and honored by such treatment. Over the next 10 years, we all got older. I was always happy to see Becky and Lee. I believe that they forgot who I was because I was greeted with the same standard words and gestures upon arrival. I was by no means disheartened or offended, for who am I, really? The periodicity of my patronage decreased over time due to my work abroad. Thousands more ate at Sam Woe's. Thousands of new faces. 26 years after my first visit, I am still introducing anyone I can to Sam Wilkes. During my last visit to the U.S., I discovered that Lee had passed away. I was surprised by my emotional reaction. 
For someone who has much experience with tragedy, I nearly cried in front of everyone there. My mind journeyed inwardly as I sped through all of my memories and happiness and the grace of everyone in the restaurant. I realized at that moment how important this little restaurant had become to me. I wanted to convey my experience to Lee's family and to the world. I wanted them to know that I, and probably many others too, have a special love for Lee and our shared, anonymous, interesting lives. To Lee's family, I am honored to have met your husband, father, grandfather, uncle, brother, and friend. Although he knew me not, I bow my head in silence as tribute to him and his. To Lee, you are part of my life story even if you never knew my name. I salute your life even though I never knew it outside of your place of employment. I hope that you knew how much you touched my life and the lives of others while feeding us. I will always lift a cup of tea in your honor whenever I eat on the third floor. To Becky, you too share this story with me and Lee. I honored you and yours too. To the rest of you, enjoy this special place. I wonder how many of you feel the way I do.